Hello and welcome back to the course on Power BI. And here we can see where we left off last time. We connect to our data set. And today we're just going to explore the navigation of this tool. So we're not going to create anything specific. We're just going to play around so that we get uh, more familiarized with how uh, Power BI is laid out so that we can navigate the controls easier further down in the course. All right, so here at the top, we've got a navigation bar that uh, stands out right away. And let's go through it. So here we've got get data, something we've already worked with. Uh, recent sources will get you the recent data sources that uh, you've uh, explored in Power BI. Uh, enter data, we won't be using this much, but basically you can just add some data manually. We'll be connecting to our data sets instead. So let's cancel that. Edit queries brings up that same window that we saw before. So this is the uh, window that actually connects to your data when you load it for the first time. As you recall, we, there's another way we can adjust our data without calling that window. We can go in here and correct things through uh, the modeling tab here if we want to. So there's two ways of doing that. And then we've got the refresh button, which uh, refreshes the data set in case you've adjusted the data set outside of Power BI in the original file, then you just click this button and it'll refresh the data set and your visuals will be updated. New page, um, just creates a new page in your layout, but it's much easier just to click new page on the left, on the bottom here, and it'll create new pages for your visualization. Think of them as new pages in a PowerPoint, something like that. So basically like a new slide in a PowerPoint. Um, and that's that's the point. So if you want to have uh, several visualizations, then you would just create several pages for them. A uh, new visual just adds a visualization to your uh, current page. Uh, we also probably won't be using this button that much because it's easier to use the buttons over here and we'll see how that uh, works in a second. Then we've got a text box. So you can just add a text box to your visualization. You can add an image or you can add some shapes if you like. So those are pretty straightforward. Uh, page view basically adjusts um, your page, how like how well um, it is fitted to your working space. I prefer to leave it at a fit to page. Manage relationships, we'll talk about this further down in the course. It's about when you have several data sources. Um, a new measure, so there's new measure, new column, we'll talk about this later as well, and publish again, we'll talk about this later. So these are a bit more advanced features and we'll definitely cover them off further in the course. Then you've got the modeling tab, which contains even more advanced features. Again, you've got the manage relationships, new measure, new column, uh, new table, sort by. So some of these we won't be using, some of these we'll cover further down in the course. And for now, we won't worry about this tab we will go to the modeling tab as we need it throughout the course. So let's stay on the home tab. Uh, here on the left, we can adjust the data as we discussed. And this is one of the cases when we would use the modeling tab because we can change the categories here. And here we, would, we can adjust relationships, but that's a few sections away. That's a bit of an advanced technique. So we'll get back to it later on. And finally, so after all that, on the right here, we've got the controls of our visualization. This is where we'll be spending most of our time when creating visualizations. So here you can choose the visualization that you want to create. These are uh, different bar charts, line charts, area charts, pie charts, and so on. Um, then you've got this dot, dot, dot. So you can, we'll talk about this as well. You can import custom visualizations, a very powerful feature in uh, Microsoft Power BI. is something that actually makes this tool stand out in the marketplace that there's a lot of custom visualizations and we'll definitely cover that off in this course. It'll be an exciting tutorial. And then we've got uh, some controls here. So these will de de change depending on your visualization. So you've got some controls and some filters and we'll explore this in just in a second. Then you've got some formatting which also changes based on your visualization. And finally, you've got your data set. Now you can um, put these like collapse these if you want uh, some more space or if you're not using one of them. And that's pretty much it for the controls. But now to understand this better, let's just play around. Let's um, drag some 
uh, columns onto the visualization and we'll see what we can get. So basically we're going to select out of our data set which columns we want to use in our visualization. So let's select, for example, region, right? And then just drag it onto the white space. It's that simple. And then let's say units. So the number of units sold. And right away when we drag it into the, our visualization like that, we get a table. And as you can see here, um, the table option has been highlighted for us. So Microsoft Power BI has automatically selected uh, which option is going to show us. So what if we don't want a table? What if we want a bar chart? Well, just select the uh, bar chart over here, the first option. And as you can see, we've got a bar chart and we've got central, east and west. And if you hover over, you'll see a tool to pop up. So in the central region, 1,199 units were sold in total. Then in the east region, 691, in the west, 231. And here you can see that these controls have adjusted. So now you can go into units, click this drop down, and you can see that it's the sum. If you want to change it, you can change it to something else. But again, we'll play around with this further down. Right now, we just want to explore the visuals. So you can change to a different bar chart like that. Um, so what else have we got? Let's try. So that's just basically an area chart, but it's not really uh, the best visualization option in this particular scenario. Let's try a pie chart. So you can see now we've got a pie chart instead of our bar chart. And again, this is a very telling visualization. Uh, further down the course, we'll learn how to control these um, tooltips or these labels so that they actually specify the percentages. But even from here, we can see that the central region sold the most uh, number of units. Uh, what else can we do? We can do, um, in this case, we can do a donut chart, right? So uh, this is already a powerful feature that in other visualization tools, you have to jump through many hoops to get a donut chart here. Just one click of a button, you have a donut chart already. Um, and so we can just play around, just click around, see what you can get. There's a, a tree map and uh, here you even have waterfall charts. So there's a beautiful, beautiful waterfall chart and you can see how they, uh, they uh, different regions add up into the total right there. So I'm going to leave it at that. Play around with this. Try dragging different columns onto the visualization. You can remove a column by just unchecking the box. It's a very straightforward and intuitive um, control set that this tool has. Uh, it's just a matter of actually um, practicing and playing around with it to get comfortable. And once you've done that, proceed to the next tutorial and we will begin creating our visualization for this section. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy analyzing.